in 2006, Heartland had just signed a record deal with Lofton Creek Records in Nashville. We caught up with them at Sammy T's in downtown Huntsville. Their career was taking off. Literally from Sammy T's to on a tour bus in two weeks span like that. And so, or you know, even, yeah, it was just a whirlwind. About the same time, their first song was heading to number one. I love the first. It took time to get where they were going. And a place in my heart. It took us a long time. We started in 1994. And so we played the Opry in 2006 for the first time, and you do the math on that. And it doesn't get any better. We went out there and put our foot right there in a the circle. Yeah. He looked over at me and said, we're standing in the circle. <laughs> I'm like, yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Then playing the Grand Ole Opry, lead singer Jason Albert remembers what his grandmother told him when he was a little boy. She said, one of these days, baby, you're going to be on the Opry. And she got to, to watch us that first time and came backstage, got out of the wheelchair and stood up. She goes, I told you, I told you. And that was, that's it for me, man. But the journey. It's just a really tough business, you know. Ended almost as quickly as it began. It's hard to stay at the top once you're there, you know, and um, we're just blessed, just blessed overall. In the way that there was a lot of things that came together to get it started, there was a lot of things that came together to kind of tail it off, too. We, it went, you know, it was a bam, and then not a lot of the people ramp up to it, and we never ramped. <laughs> you gotta suck it up the boys were disappointed, to say the least. When it came time for another single for the radio, they were like, eh, well, you can't beat that one. We're like, well, let us try. Despite only having one number one hit, Time changes everything, life must go on. Written by another North Alabamian, Walt Aldridge, Heartland wouldn't do anything differently. I feel very blessed, you know, that I was able to do this with these, this group of guys, and it all starts with that song. You know. I loved her first. Thank Walt for writing that song, giving us, you know, this chance to experience all this. Heartland now has its own exhibit at the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. Three. The boys are leaving their mark on country music. I don't think it's ever really over as long as some father dances with his daughter at a wedding. It, it goes on. In Tuscumbia. It's something that can never be taken away. It was, it was what it was, and I was happy to get to do it. Jerry Hayes, WHNT News 19.